and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our new die set, Zesty Lemon. So let's go ahead and check it out. This die set gives you all the pieces to make an adorable lemon and a lemon slice. And so here you can see our main lemon and then the lemon base there that's gonna fill in all those little spots. We have our lemon slice base and then our lemon slice piece. We have four different styles of leaves that are just so cute and then a bunch of different styles of stems that you can put onto the lemon and then a cute little flower as well with some layering pieces and some little rosy cheeks for these two little smiley faces that you can add to the lemon or not. To create the full lemon, all you need to do is add some liquid glue or tape runner to the back and then layer it over the base piece. And you'll see that that fills in all of those little spotted details. And we're using all of the textured cardstock here, which gives you all of the different shades of yellow. Now for the slice, what you'll do is you'll die cut one out of white cardstock and then you'll die cut one out of a shade of yellow. Then we're going to add some liquid glue to the white one and that's going to become the rind of the lemon. We're going to layer that onto our darker piece which is kind of the outside part of the lemon. And then we're going to add some liquid glue into all of those little centers and then we're going to drop in all of those pieces. Now sometimes when you run it through the die cut machine, all of the pieces will kind of stay inside so you can actually just layer it over top and use a little pokey tool to poke each of the pieces through. It's not completely perfect but it helps you kind of add those in pretty quickly and then we can just go through and make sure that we add the extra one that fell out along the way. And I can't get over how cute this little lemon slice is. It is just so adorable. Now to add the smiley face to the lemon, you can take the smiley face die and line it up right in the center of the lemon. You can hold it in place with some low tack tape and run it through the die cut machine. Then we're gonna build the lemon in a really similar way. We're gonna add the piece to the bottom and then to add some more detail to the face, we went ahead and die cut it out of some black cardstock and we're just gonna inlay those pieces. And right here, this is just a little drop of glue and we're using just a pokey tool to add the glue into the little areas right there onto this smiley face. So you can see just how cute that looks as you drop in each of the pieces and by just adding the glue there that helps you deal with these little tiny pieces and this glue dries clear which makes it perfect. And so now we have this adorable little lemon with a smiley face. And then we can go ahead and add the little rosy cheeks and the rosy cheeks really make it. So I love that you can get the cute cartoony look with the two different styles of smiley faces or you can have a more serious lemon, I guess, without the smiley face and both are just so adorable. Now you'll see there's the three little layers of this flower and it is absolutely adorable. You could just do two of the layers, just do one or do all three and they all look great. Now this little trio stem is really cute because you can hang the lemon from it and then add two of the little leaves hanging from the other parts of the stems and I think that's such a cute look. You can also just add the stem to the top of the lemon and then you can layer a leaf right on there and then there's the stems going in the two different directions and we have a smaller stem and then we also have the larger singular stem. So there's a lot of cute mix and match with the different sizes of stems and leaves. And then here is a look of what it looks like with the larger stem and that gives you a place for one of the larger leaves and I think that looks really, really cute as well. And then adding that flower is just the finishing touch. And here I just wanted to show you some cute ways that you could layer the lemon so you could create this kind of big cluster using that trio of leaves or have the single lemon with the slice which is super cute too. And next up, Shari is gonna be creating a gorgeous lemon card. I love it so much. So take it away, Shari. So the inspiration for my card today actually came from a notebook that I have on my desk and it has some lemons and some really bold stripes. So that is what I'm going to make today. I'm starting out with the yellow pack of the textured canvas cardstock and I'm going to use that lightest yellow and that really bright yellow that's in the pack because I like these lemons with the two shades of yellow. I wasn't quite sure if I wanted the light on the outside or the dark on the outside, so I'm actually making both. And um, what I don't use, I actually saved and made another card with. So I'm just layering these together. This is the light on the outside with the dark, and then this is the dark on the outside with the light. So once I have these together, you can see the difference. And of course, you can do whatever you want for the card that you create. 
There's also the really fun lemon slice die in this die set. So I cut the solid circle out of that really bright darker yellow cardstock. I cut the rind, I guess, <laughs> out of some white. Actually, I cut it out of cream so it wasn't too stark white. And then I cut the little pie pieces that go in there, the little slices, out of that lighter yellow. And I just really like the look of the two yellows together when you do this to this lemon slice. So I'll make both of my lemon slices exactly the same. And then I'm just going to set those aside and work on the little flowers in the lemons. So there are these little flowers in this set and then there's the little centers. So I'm just making four of these. And I'm making all these ahead of time so that I can easily just arrange them on my card the way I want and not have to worry about assembling the pieces. Now for the background of my card, I'm using the Simple Stripes Portrait Back drop die. So I'm cutting this from some Blue Jay cardstock so we get those really bright blue stripes and then I'm also going to cut it from some white and I'm just using the tape to hold my pieces together. I'm going to add some adhesive all over this card front so that I can put those stripes and create my background and I thought I could layer them together on the tape and just put it down as one piece but that didn't really work it was kind of wonky because it was only that one piece of tape so I'm just stacking them right against each other varying the colors between the blue and the white so we get these really bold blue and white stripes as our background which I think is really fun It's really going to make those lemons pop on these colors too, I think. So I like that this die cuts an odd number so that I end up with that dark blue at the top and the bottom. And then I can start to arrange my lemons, my leaves that I've cut from cilantro cardstock. There are four leaves in this set, three different sizes and my flowers. So I'm trying to make an arrangement of lemons on the bottom right and then an arrangement on the top left. And you can see that I had that lighter lemon and I decided to change it out to the darker lemon. So I'm kind of happy that I did both versions so I could see what it looked like on this striped background and see which one I liked the look of best. So I'm just kind of shifting these things around, figuring out where I want them to go. Nothing is glued down yet because I want to kind of work on my sentiment first before I commit to where all these things are glued down. So for my sentiment, I'm using a combination of die cut Henry's ABCs to spell out the word zest. I've cut that from some yellow sparkle cardstock and some black. And then I'm using Harold's ABCs to create the rest of my sentiment that says you're the, so you're the zest. And I'm white embossing this on some black cardstock and I'll just create a little banner with this. So I've used my clear embossing ink, my white embossing powder, and I'm just heating it up with my heat tool till it melts. You get that bright white sentiment on the black. And then I can just trim this down with my paper trimmer. And then for the letters, the die cut letters, I'm layering the yellow glitter ones over the black so I get a little bit of a drop shadow. And that way I get some contrast where these letters cross over the white stripes on the background. So I've just gone ahead and done that with all of the letters so they're all one piece. And then I can space them on my card. So I'm going to start adding my lemons. I like the placement of them and I don't want them to move. So I'm adding all these with liquid glue in the places where I had them. Now the parts that overhang the edge of the card, I will trim off with my scissors. And this sentiment is going to overlap this a little bit. And it's kind of nice that I'm using my liquid glue. You can see I shifted that leaf a little bit to get the flower where I wanted it to be. 
And I think when you're arranging stuff like this, it is good to start with the large pieces like the lemons and then start to fill in with the smaller things like the leaves. And I also like the look of things not overlapping except for that one little flower. So now that that is all glued down, I'm going to take my really long tonic scissors, trim off all those little pieces that might be overhanging. Which there's not too many of them. Most everything stayed on the card, but I like the look when it overhangs the side and gets trimmed off. And then I'm adding some black foam squares to the back of that little banner that I created that says you're the. So this will be popped up off the background a little bit. And I kind of like that it's on that dark blue stripe so it kind of disappears a little bit but yet has some contrast since it's black. And then I've got my letters organized here where I want them to be. I'm using liquid glue for those as well since they're kind of going over top of multiple layers of cardstock. And as I usually do, I started sort of in the center with the S and work my way out. And that way I feel like it's going to be nice and even, evenly spaced on the front of my card. And then finally, for a little bit of extra embellishment, I've got these clear. I they look like water droplets to me but these clear drops in there in different sizes and I thought that they just looked really nice to add a little bit to this card that's different than adding glitter so I've just sprinkled those around and then I'm just picking them up once I have them where I want them and dropping them down onto a little dot of liquid glue now that liquid glue as you can see it behind that little one I just put down is a little bit white but once it dries it will be clear and you'll have those clear drops on the card and here's my finished card and I just love how it turned out it's so much fun and it reminds me of summer so much I am just in love with the look of the bold navy with the yellow lemons it is so pretty Shari now I'm going to show you how to take the lemons and turn them into some other fruit and I'm going to be doing that by recreating some gorgeous cards by Grace. So here I'm using all of my zesty lemon dies and I'm going to start off by creating a lemon. So here I'm using some of that textured cardstock that has all of those different shades of yellow which is so great. I'm going to pop out all of my little tiny pieces here and I'm going to use some sunflower ink to ink the edges of the lemon. Now it looks really pretty in the plain cardstock but when you add a little bit of inking it really kind of brings the lemon into life and by starting with our yellow cardstock and just adding a little bit of yellow to the edge it's quick and easy to do but looks really pretty now here I die cut the base out of white cardstock and I inked it up with that ink and that way it's going to coordinate really nicely and I can layer that behind to help color in the little spots on the lemon now for the little tiny slices, I'm taking a little finger little brush here and I'm going to ink up just the little bottom edges of each of those just to give them some fun little dimension. I'll show you an easier way to ink these up when we go into some of our little other fruits as well. So I'm going to add some tape runner to the back of my main piece and then layer it on top of the other one to color in all of the spots on the lemon. Then I'll add some liquid glue to the back of this piece and layer it onto that main circle. Then I can add liquid glue to each of those little wells and then I can layer in the little sliced pieces of lemon and this just looks so cute as it comes to life. I also just love dyes like this where you drop the little pieces in. I just It feels like a little puzzle. I just love it so much. So here you can see I have my lemon and my lemon slice and now we're going to turn this into a line. So we've die cut this from some of that same texture cardstock but now from the green pack. And so we have our same slices, our main piece and also that circle that goes with the slice. And then we have a white piece for the backing because we're going to use some ink to color that in. I'm inking the edges of my lime and all of my different lime pieces with some jalapeno ink. So you can kind of look through your stash and find a green that's just either the same shade or just a little bit darker than your cardstock and that's going to give that really pretty detail.
adding the jalapeno piece to that white piece, I'm gonna end up darkening it up in just a little bit. I'll show you guys that in just a little bit. But next up, I wanted to show you my trick for coloring in the pieces. So if you die cut it and all of those little slice pieces stay inside, all you need to do is take either a really small brush or one of these little finger daubers, finger brush, finger foams, and just ink right in the center. And just I'm just going right in a tiny little circle in the center and you'll see it's gonna ink the bottom of all of those tiny little slices, which makes it super easy to do. Now here I'm taking some artichoke ink and I'm just darkening up the base piece because it wasn't enough contrast when I added on there. So when I darken up, now it's giving me more contrast between the lemon and the back piece that's going to fill in all of those details. Now we can create our lime slice in the same way that we did our lemon slice, right? So we're gonna layer the white rind, I don't even know if I'm using the exact right word there, but the rind onto the base piece, and then I'm gonna add the little dot into the, each of those little wells, and we're gonna add all of those tiny little slices inside. And once again, I just love seeing this come to life. There's just something so fun about these. Another thing that I love about these lemons is they really remind me of the strawberries that we came out with in spring. And what's really cool about that is that these lemons or limes are whatever it may be, actually fit inside the fruit basket that came out in spring too. So I love that now we can both put our strawberries and now our lemons or limes into the fruit basket. And Shari's gonna show us a really cute card towards the end of this video showing that idea. So I'm gonna add some tape runner to the back of the lemon and then layer it over that piece that we kind of darkened up with the artichoke ink. And then here you can see the lemon and the cute slice together. Now we're going to work on our orange. This is going to be a cutie, those little tiny clementines. And here you can see that not all of my slices stayed in place when I die cut it, but that's okay. I'm actually going to drop them back in so I can do that quick inking technique. Here I have my little finger brush and I'm taking some fake tan ink, which is my favorite name of ink we have. I think it's so funny. And inking up that center again, just so there's a little bit of ink on the very points of those little slices. And I'm actually just gonna use that same finger brush to ink two circles. So one of the circles is gonna be for my slice, but the other one is going to be my full cutie, my full little clementine, right? So for that one, I'm really taking some time to ink the edges in a way that's gonna make it look round like a clementine. I'm keeping a little shine kind of towards the center but off to the right a little bit. And then I can do a faster job of inking this piece because that's the slice base that most of that's going to be covered up. So now we can add some liquid glue. I'm calling it the rind again, but correct me if I'm wrong, but to this little cute detail piece, we're gonna layer that on and then we can add the liquid glue into each of the little centers and we'll drop in all of the slices. Now to create more of that clementine look, I'm just gonna take an orange marker and add a bunch of dots all over this piece. And that's gonna help kind of bring that into the dots that we have on the lemon and lime and also just give it a little more texture so it looks a little bit more like a cutie, like a little mini orange or clementine. Now I have a bunch of leaves cut from that same textured cardstock that we use for the lime. And we're gonna take the jalapeno ink and we're gonna ink all of these little leaves. Now, after we ink these leaves, we're just adding some ink towards the bottom. Sometimes I'll go up all the way up the edge, making them each kind of different. Now, I saved a few leaves that I wanted to do a little bit different. So I'm using some clover ink, which is a totally different shade of green, so that they'll stand out from our lime, because the other colors we were using were the same as our lime, and I wanted the leaves to look a bit different. So I really covered those well with the clover ink, and you can see that now they're standing out from the lime. Now for the cutie, I wanted to make it look like an orange slice, like the kind you would have like at a sports park, you know? So I cut the piece in half and how cute is that? And of course you could do that with the lemon and the lime as well, but just put it in your paper trimmer or get a big pair of scissors and just cut it in half and you'll have two cute little slices. I've also got some of the flowers here and I'm just in love with this like triple layered flower. It's so cute. So we'll put the larger center in and then we'll put the smaller centers on top. And so we have some sage leaf cardstock and also some apricot. So just kind of some different colors and different shades. And then for the centers, we're using some sticky note. Now that our lemon, lime, and cutie are all done, we're gonna start working on the card bases. And we're gonna be using some of my favorite dies, which are these outside in stitch scallop squares. So super cute. And so we're gonna die cut this actually three times out of some white cardstock. And we're gonna be using Henry's ABCs to create this really cute negative die cut for our sentiment. So for this first one, we're gonna use the phrase cutie to match up with our orange. So I'm gonna lay those all out onto my piece. And once they're spaced out well, I'm gonna take a piece 
piece of washi tape to hold them in place. Then we can run it through the die cut machine and now we have this cool die cut word. Now the only thing that's missing there is the inside of the E so I'm just gonna pop that out and I'm just gonna save it right on top of that piece and work on my next one. So I have the same size scallop square but this time I'm spelling out the word lime with Henry's ABCs and I'm gonna use my washi tape to hold it in place and then we'll run it through the die cut machine and we can lift up those letters and now we have the word lime and also of course I'm gonna save the inside of the E. So I'm just gonna pop that right off and just leave it right on top and work on my third card. Now this one's gonna be for the lemon and we're gonna use the word zest and once again hold it in place with our washi tape, run it through the die cut machine. Now we'll have this negative sentiment and then we're gonna make sure to save the inside of that E because we're gonna fill those in in just a little bit. Now we're gonna do some stamping to fill in the rest of the sentiments. And this is a perfect shop your stash moment. So this is the reveal wheel sentiments and it has a hello in there. So we're gonna stamp that in some black licorice ink and it's gonna say, hello cutie. Now here is our caramel apple set and it has a you're the in there. So we're gonna say you're the zest. There's a lot of sets that have you're the or hello in them. So you'll definitely find some in your stash if you wanna create some cards like Grace's. This is Garden Before and Afters, and this one has totally rooting for you in it. So Lime totally rooting for you. It's so cute and such a fun little pun. And I love this mix and match of die cut letters and stamping. Now, Gotta Have Gingham is the perfect match for these lemons. And so we're gonna take out, of course, a green, yellow, and orange paper to go along with this whole fruit theme that we have going. And these papers have been cut to four by four inches. Now for the back of the letters, we're gonna take some different shades of cardstock. So this is some sticky note cardstock that's gonna go behind the word zest. We have some apricot that's gonna go behind cutie. And then this is some watercolor wishes and that's gonna go behind the word lime. Now to line these up, I did a little bit of a trick. So I put some tape runner on the back of the piece of colored cardstock and I'm actually just going to layer it right behind my word and make sure that it's in perfect placement. I've kind of picked it up and layered it and then pressed it down. So here you can see with the line, I'm gonna add some tape runner to the back, layer it behind my piece, center my scallop piece onto that gingham cardstock and then I can just press down and that piece is in perfect placement. And it's okay that it's crooked because no one's ever gonna see that part. It's a great way to use up scraps. So once again, I'm layering it behind. There's some tape runner on it. I'm gonna center my scallop square onto my square pattern paper and press down. Now I'm gonna add some foam squares to the back of this piece. And you'll see I put little tiny pieces in and around the letters to make sure that all of the pieces of letters are nice and supported. And then we can layer that on there. And now those die cut letters have the beautiful color behind them. To finish up the sentiment, I'm gonna put a little foam square behind the center of the E and then layer that in. And I just love the popped up look with the color that's flat behind it. It's just the shadow, it just looks so pretty. And so we're gonna repeat the same thing. You'll see I put foam squares kind of in and around the letters, helping to support them. And then we're gonna layer that right on top. We'll add a foam square behind the center of the E and layer that on. And then we'll repeat the same thing with the zest. We have our foam squares on the back. We'll layer it onto that yellow paper and yellow gingham and then add the center of the E with the foam square as well. Now that these cute dimensional sentiments are all done, we can start to layer all of the pieces that we worked on earlier. So first we're gonna work on our cutie and we're gonna layer all of these pieces together. So we've got that cute little trio of stems, we've got leaves, we've got the flower and we've got the slice. And so now I'm just kind of playing around with how things are gonna look and I'm adding everything flat with Tape Runner because I really want the dimension to come from that shadow on the word. And so I'm gonna have my cute little images, my die cut images all nice and flat. So now we'll add the clementine with the leaf and the little slice turned on its side like that. Oh, it's so cute. I love it so much. I'm from Florida, so I, I think I just, I just love the look of oranges like that. And so then we're gonna add this cute little trio. Instead of having it hold up the lemon like we showed you at the beginning of the video, we're gonna use it as some stems for our leaves. And then last but not least, gonna take a white gel pen and just add some cute details, some little lines and dots. And you'll see as we add those, it really adds a cool three-dimensional look and makes the whole thing pop. Now it's time to work on the lemon card which says you're the zest. So we're gonna take out our lemon, our slice, the flower, and some leaves and we're gonna layer all of these pieces together. And there's something about the flower on there that's just so cute. 
See that I'm adding tape runner to everything on the back and then kind of layering the pieces, putting over top of the card, lifting it up, making sure all the pieces look really nice, mixing it, matching them. I love that with tape runner, I can move things around a little bit and then the tape will kind of cure over time. Then I'm gonna add the little stem and then add the leaves on. And then we're gonna take our white gel pen and add some cute details all over the leaves and the lemon. And once again, these things just kind of make it pop. The white's a little bit harder to see on the lemon because of the light yellow but it still gives a nice little 3D detail and now this card is all done. Oh, it's so cute and we'll compare it to the cutie one and they're just looking adorable. And so last but not least, we're going to work on our lime and I personally, I love lime, you know, squeezed over my food. It's so delicious. So we're going to add tape runner to the back again and I'm going to start layering the pieces just to kind of see how it's going to look. I really love the look of the flower down below instead of at the top of the lime, it's really cute. And then we're gonna add the leaves at the top to kind of fill in that space. And then we'll take that white gel pen and you'll see it really pops in the lime with that darker green and it just looks so pretty. So I'm gonna add some little dots as well just to make the lime a little different than everything else. And oh, how cute are these three cards? I'm just loving them. Now the card base for these were four inch by four inch. So we're gonna create a bunch of card bases add some tape runner to the front of them, and then we can layer the card fronts on each one of them. And now the cards are all done, and these are so cute, and they were so much fun to make. Thank you so much to Grace for this adorable idea. I love how she was able to take the lemons and turn them into some different fruits. And you'll have to see at the end of the video, she did a fourth one as well that's just so cute. Now next up, Shari is going to take these lemons, she's going to add them into our fruit basket die and also incorporating some critters. So take it away Shari! For this card today, I am combining the Zesty Lemons dies with some stamped critters. I'm starting with my lemons that I have cut out from two different shades of yellow textured canvas cardstock. These are from that yellow pack. I've got a lighter one for the top piece and then I'm layering the darker one behind so that those spots on the lemon are darker. I've also cut out the smallest leaf from the die set from some green spippy speckles paper so you get that kind of pastel-y green for the leaves on this card. For the critters I've pulled out my Scent with Love stamp set and also the mini Make Lemonade stamp set. So I've got three skunks and two little glasses of lemonade that I've already colored and cut out with the coordinating dies. For the background, I'm using a piece of blue Spiffy Speckles paper. I cut this with the largest stitch rectangle die, and I'm going to do a little bit of stenciling. So this is the new Sunray Backdrop Stencil, which, you know, our sun rays normally come from the bottom, but I thought it would be fun to flip it around and have some rays coming down from the top. I'm using some Moonstone ink. And then I'm just going to add the ink at the top where all those rays sort of come together and just pull that ink down. I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom of this panel. I just want the suggestion of these rays at the top of my card. So I'm trying to be very light handed so I get a really subtle tone on tone. This Moonstone ink is about the same color as this pattern paper. So you can't even really see it right now, but once I pull the stencil away, you'll see the difference where I've inked and where I haven't. So you get that really subtle sun ray background. I'm also using the fruit basket. I've cut this from some narwhal cardstock and I'm taking a piece of that lighter yellow paper. I'm just going to use it to fill the bottom of my basket. Rather than cutting a whole bunch of lemons that you're not really going to see, I'm just filling the basket up with that yellow along the bottom and then the lemons will come out the top. So it will look nice and full, but it will not be so many die cut and layered pieces. The skunks are going to go over this part anyway, so you wouldn't really see the lemons if you took the time to fill it with actual die cut lemons. This also gives me a place to glue these lemons to, so I can tuck these in the top of my basket and just adhere them to that solid piece of cardstock that I have glued behind. And I'm just figuring out where I want to layer this third lemon because I want this little guy to kind of pop out of the lemons. He's hanging out in the basket. So I'll just go ahead and add him hanging out in the lemons. 
he's going to have one of those glasses of lemonade. I like how he's just kind of popping up out of a basket of lemons. I think that's really cute. So I've kind of laid out my images where I want them, but I need something to ground them with. So I'm using the Gotta Have Gingham Rainbow Pack, and I'm going to create a pink sort of tablecloth ground for them to stand on. So I'm just put them there for spacing to know how high up to cut the top of this. I cut that with the Simple Stitch Hillside. Now I've also cut the original piece with the stitch rectangle so that stitching that's on my background piece goes all the way around this whole panel. Then I can add this to my card base. And I stamped my sentiment up there at the top as you can see but my U part of it was a little bit crooked. So I'm just going to fix that mistake by using a sentiment banner which I probably should have done to begin with. <laughs> but I'm using the sentiment banner. I've already stamped the sentiment on there. And then I'm just using it again to cut a shorter banner. And you have that little fishtail on the side. So we can easily fix this little mishap, which was totally my fault for not checking my stamp before I inked it up. And I'm just going to cover that up. And I actually like this better because the sentiments popped up with some foam squares. Now I can add the rest of my elements to my card base. So I've just put liquid glue all over this basket full of lemons. I'm just gonna center that up. And then for the other two skunks, you can see I went ahead and added that second glass of lemonade to the hand of the one on the right. And I'm just adding some foam squares to the back of both of these. And they're just gonna layer right in front of the basket. So you can see they're covering up that yellow part at the bottom. So if you'd filled this up with lemons, you wouldn't see all that work very much. And then of course, nothing's complete without a little bit of glitter. So I'm using some stickles for the lemons on the glasses. And then I've just added a little dusting on the top of the lemons in the basket, almost like they have sugar on top. And then I almost actually forgot to add my leaves that I die cut. So I'm adding the three little leaves that I die cut out of some green spiffy speckles. And I just think this little pop of green just adds so much just adding those leaves that I almost forgot. And here is my finished card. I just think those little skunks are so much fun with their glasses of lemonade and the big basket of lemons. Shari, this card is too cute and I love the glitter at the top of the lemons. It just makes them just sparkly and so sweet. And next up we have some stunning cards by the design team and this card by Tammy is just gorgeous. That pink lemonade background she created in the slimline style is stunning and I can't wait to make a card just like this one. Green created the cutest custom sentiment. She has squeeze the day for her lemons and then hope your day is sublime for her limes. And I love how she mixed and matched in some of the flower market papers for the background. They are a perfect match for this die set. This card by Elise is adorable. I love the you're simply the zest sentiment and how she incorporated both the lemons and the limes creating almost like her own pattern paper. I love Callie's Zest Wishes sentiment and how she used the trio stem at the top to hang the lemons and I love the pile of lemons at the bottom. Lynette used our Watercolor Wishes rainbow paper to find those cute little dots that are a perfect match to her slices that are pink, orange, green, and yellow. This card is just so happy. I love the gorgeous look and watercolor feel of Yainea's amazing card and I love how she incorporated our Scripty Wishes die cut to this card too. Aji created a perfect floor for her lemons using the brand new All the Dots paper. That stripe is from that. And I love the polka dotted background and the giant thank you. This card is just so sweet. The way Kara added color to her lemons and leaves has blown me away. This is so realistic and so stunning and I love that blue gingham with it too. I love how Megan layered both the lemon slices and the leaves to create almost like her own custom paper. And then that beautiful sentiment over top with Henry's ABCs just makes me smile. Letitia also created a really cool background with these lemons and I love how they're popped and the cool little gold leaves all around. This pattern is just so beautiful. And then I love the you're my main squeeze sentiment that Elena created and the cool sunray backdrop. Oh, I love that card. 
And here are the cards by Grace that inspired me to make mine today. And there you can see that she also created a little grapefruit one. And it says, you are such a sweet friend. So I love that she's changed this into four different fruits. It's so cute, so sweet. And I love that negative die cut sentiment. And I can't wait to try that on even more cards. This cute mini slimline card by Shari just makes me smile. It's so sweet and happy and the little hearts just make it perfect. And then I love how Mindy incorporated the lemons into the fruit basket and she also added our very favorite mice. So fun, so cute. And then Letitia added our brand new All The Dots paper using the lemon fizz for the lemons. I love the layers of the stripes and the dots. It's just perfect. So we cannot wait to see what you do with Zesty Lemon, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!